welcome to trinod chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic chemical bonding in chemical bonding i am going to discuss about molecular orbital theory in this molecular orbital theory concept this is the seventh video in first six videos i have discussed various aspects of molecular orbital theory such as postulates and lceo approach that is linear combination of atomic orbital approach for the formation of molecular orbitals from atomic orbitals and conditions for the atomic orbitals to combine for formation of molecular orbitals their energy level diagram and then what are the molecular behavior and how to write the electronic configuration of the molecular orbitals in this video i am going to discuss about uh, molecular orbital energy diagram for simple molecules diet simple diatomic molecules such as h2 and he2 so ee video lo manam h2 and he2 yokka molecular orbital energy diagrams ela gestaru and uh, what kind of information we are gaining from this molecular orbital energy diagram thank you for watching trinod chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so first let me discuss the formation of h2 molecule h2 molecule right we know that what is the electronic configuration of hydrogen hydrogen electronic configuration is 1s1 and uh, similarly for the second hydrogen also this is 1s1 these 1s atomic orbitals of hydrogen will linearly combine and form two molecular orbitals one is sigma 1s another is sigma star 1s one is sigma 1s another is sigma star 1s so total how many electrons we need to enter in the molecular orbitals two electrons because 1 plus 1 two electrons we need to enter into the molecular orbitals of h2 molecule molecular orbitals of h2 molecule now let me discuss how to draw the molecular orbital energy diagram for h2 molecule first let us draw the energy bond so this is corresponds to the energy and assume that these are the atomic orbitals of hydrogen and this is the 1s1 there is a one electron in and this is another 1s orbital of second hydrogen atom this is another uh, 1s atomic orbital and uh, the molecular orbital yeah, the bonding molecular orbital has lower energy than the corresponding atomic orbitals so this is the sigma 1s and uh, this is the sigma star 1s sigma star 1s so while drawing the diagram uh, care this course in the intent to connect the these two should be in the single line and equal distance from these two atomic orbitals so this is the sigma now connect the lines here please right so sigma 1s now how many electrons we need to fill two electrons that's why one there is lower energy orbitals are filled first then only higher energy orbitals according to your board so this is the molecular orbital energy diagram for h2 molecule now let me calculate the bond order so what is the bond order bond order is the half the difference between half the difference between bond order is the half the difference between the number of electrons in number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbitals so here how many electrons are there in bonding molecular orbital is equal to 2 minus and how many electrons are there in the anti bonding molecular orbital zero that's why here bond order is 1 bond order is 1 so here there exists one hh bond 
single bond, H H single bond in H two molecule, and bond order is one. Now, what is the electronic configuration? Sigma one s square plus. This is the electronic configuration of the. This is the electronic configuration of the uh, H two molecule. Electronic configuration of H two molecule is what? The electronic configuration of H two molecule is sigma one s square. This is the electronic configuration. Now, what is the magnetic behavior? Magnetic behavior is as there are no unpaired electrons or singly occupied electrons. This H two molecule is diamagnetic. Diamagnetic. So we know that if there are singly occupied electrons in any molecular orbital, bonding or multi-bonding molecular orbital, then the molecule is paramagnetic. If there are no unpaired electrons or doubly occupied electrons, then the molecule is diamagnetic. So here, doubly occupied or there are no unpaired electrons in there are no electrons in anti-bonding electron, but there are no electrons there are singly occupied electrons in bonding molecular orbital. That's why the molecule is diamagnetic. So this is the way to to draw the molecular orbital energy diagram for the H two molecule. Now let me discuss how to draw the molecular orbital energy diagram for the H two molecule. H2 molecule. So we know that the electronic configuration of helium is 1s2 and the H2 is formed by two helium atoms, two helium atoms, H2, H2. So this is the electronic configuration of 1s2, L1s2. So here also 1s atomic orbitals linearly will combine and form two molecular orbitals, sigma 1s and Sigma star bonds. Now let me draw the molecular orbital energy diagram. Molecular orbital energy diagram. So first we have to draw the energy bar. Don't forget to draw this one. So this is the one s atomic orbital. Parallelly also you draw the another one s atomic. So sigma one s one s. So how many electrons are there? Two electrons in this. Two electrons in this. So total we need to fill four electrons in the molecular orbitals. So this is the bonding. And this is response to the time. Now we need to fill the four electrons. We need to fill the four electrons. So here the four electrons, one, two, then three, four. So this is the electronic configuration of He2 molecule. Electronic configuration of He2 molecule is what is the electronic configuration? Sigma one s square and sigma star one s square. Here the what is the bond order? Bond order is the half of two minus two. There are two electrons in this bonding molecular orbital. And the two electrons in anti-bonded molecular orbital. That's why bond order is zero. So if bond order is zero, he chi he chi bond doesn't exist. He chi he chi bond doesn't exist. And uh, the molecule is diamagnetic. The molecule is diamagnetic as there are no unpaired electrons in either of the bonding or anti-bonding molecular orbitals. So this is the molecular orbital energy diagram for the He chi two. Molecule, molecular orbital energy diagram for the He2 molecule. Thank you for watching Tranath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel.